Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix GTA 5 is unable to un uh, un authenticate with gay Epic Games services. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what you need to do here, you need to open up Epic Games Launcher. And then you need to make sure that you're logged into your account here. Uh, then what you need to do here, uh, open up a Rockstar Games Launcher and make sure that on Rockstar Games is uh, you are logged in uh, as well on here. And then what you need to do here, you need to go to Epic Games, uh, go to Epic Games, look for uh, GTA 5, right click on it. Currently I have it on Steam, but I will show you how you can do it on Epic Games. So you just need to press on three dots, then you, you just need to go to manage and then create a, a desktop shortcut and launch the game through desktop shortcut and look if the problem persists or not. Other thing that you need to do here is to open up File Explorer. Then you need to go to the disk where your uh, game is installed. Uh, for me, it's disk C, uh, program files x86, but it can be on program files as well. Then you need to go to Rockstar Games. Uh, Rockstar Games should be Rockstar Games here. Go to Social Club, and then you should see socialclub.dll file. So you just need to copy that file, and then you need to go. Uh, in my case, I will go on Steam because I have uh, on Steam, but uh, on Epic Games, it will be similar. You just need to go to HD Enhanced Properties, Install Files, Browse. And then you will find GTA 5 Enhanced Directory, and you just need to paste show socialclub.dll, and then launch the game. On Epic Games, quite similar. You just need to go to Epic Games here. And then you just need to press on the three dots on the game. And then you just need to press Manage. And then here, you will open up file directory like this. And after you paste uh, socialclub.dll uh, file on your directory, open up a Rockstar Games and then launch the game through Rockstar Games and look if the problem persists or not. And the next thing what I suggest to do here is to go to Epic Games, uh, completely uh, sign out from it, then go to Rockstar Games and sign out from Rockstar Games as well. And then once you sign out from both uh, clients, what you need to do here is to turn off your internet connection. So you just need to go to control panel or just to the system tray. And then you just need to uh, disable your internet connection. So let's go with a uh, small icons, then uh, change adapter settings, and then uh, just disable your internet connection here. And after you're done, you need to go back to a Rockstar Games and then you need to sign in in offline mode. If you don't see a, a sign in uh, in offline mode, you just need to on the bottom, you should see sign in later uh, or sign in uh, with a different way and you then this will, will pop up. And then when you are in offline mode, you just need to uh, launch a GTA 5. Currently, I don't have it uh, on GTA 5, but I will show you with the Fortnite. And as you can see here, connection error, uh, launcher running on offline mode. You need to have internet connection to run game. So uh, just turn on your internet connection and then the game it sh uh, game should work. If this do not work, what I suggest to do next is to go to services and then go to Epic Games. Uh, just click on one of the tasks here and press E until you see Epic Games, Epic uh, Online Services and you just need to uh, right click on it, uh, properties make sure startup type is automatic here and make sure service status is not stopped but it's running right and then press apply and okay and look if the problem persists if the problem persists try to uh, delete and then reinstall rockstar games launcher and uh, launch uh, gt5 normally from epic games or is probably on Ep uh, from epic games and issue should be solved as well so yeah that's basically it if i helped you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care bye